Good morning, Year 5. Um, we're going to carry out our parachute investigation today to find out a little bit about air resistance. You should have carried out a risk assessment um, into this investigation so that you have thought about what problems there might be, um, what potential dangers there are to you um, and to the things around you when you're carrying out the investigation. So I've decided to come out in the garden because I think it's just safer to do it here. I am going to be standing on that bench that you can see so I'm going to have to be careful about that. Um, and I haven't got anyone to help me today but you're really going to need to have somebody who will help you in timing how long it takes for the parachute to drop um, to the ground. So you'll need a stopwatch ready as well. I've prepared my parachute here like I showed you earlier in the last video. Um, the alarm is a bit upside down, there we go. And I'm going to now go and stand on the bench and drop this. And when you do that, you're going to time how long it takes to drop. You might want to do the test um, three times over. I'm just going to do it once for the purposes of the video. Um, and then you'll have to record your data in your table that I've included on the page in OneNote. You'll then have to test out the different sizes of parachute that you've got. So it will take a little bit of time to work through the investigation. I'm just going to do it with this one parachute. Okay, here we go. Okay. So there may be some problems that you encounter when you're doing your investigation. You can see that that didn't fall completely um, down without touching me first. So that's why it's always a good idea to do your test three times over. Um, what we will be doing in the next part is looking at evaluating the investigation to look at what went well and what could be improved with our technique um, and method. And we'll also be writing a conclusion. Thank you. Bye.